Hello, and welcome to my playthrough of Slime Rancher 2. Uh, really excited. Super excited. The game is early access right now, so it's not necessarily completely finished. But I just finished the storyline for Slime Rancher, which we will not talk about how many years that took me. Uh, <laughs> from me getting the game to me completing the game. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I've seen some... I don't know, screenshots, I guess, from the game of like some of the slimes. Not very many, though. I, I've barely seen anything. I've seen a little, and it looks so cute. I am so excited to see the new slimes. Uh, ah. <laughs> I will forewarn, I... The amount I talk in this video is it, it could be variable. It could be like every five seconds me being like, Oh my god, that's so cute. Or it could very much just be, like, almost complete silence. Well, it won't be complete silence. It There might be long periods of me not talking. Um, part of the reason I don't play games like this on my channel, at least so far, is uh, certain games I just get really in the zone. Like, I get really absorbed in them, and I don't think to talk. <laughs> There's not much for me to say, because I'm just like, I'm feeding the slimes. What, what's there to narrate about that? Um... So, any talking, it'll probably just be like, wow, look at this. Um, maybe a little rambling, but for the most part, it'll probably be more of a chill, laid-back video. I don't necessarily plan on chatting a whole bunch. Uh, but I really wanted to take a look at this game, and I know some of my friends have really been wanting to see some of this game. So it works out. <laughs> but yeah, with that, I think we're good to jump right uh, into the game. Just... A reminder though, early access, not complete. Uh, if anything's wonky, that's probably why. <laughs> well, let's jump in. There we go. Oh, we get to choose our- <gasps> Oh my gosh. We're, we're already off to a strong start. I'm so- <sighs> Okay, honestly, this probably is the cutest to me. However, it is October month of Halloween. Oh no. <laughs> Why am I being so indecisive about this? They're both so cute. <gasps> Adorable. The hunters in the last game were one of my absolute favorites, besides the puddle slimes. Okay, we're going with this guy. I can't help it. Uh, We'll do the tutorial. Might as well. Tar. Oh, you can disable them in this game. Uh, sometimes spawn in the world organically, they will damage player, spoil food, and devour other slimes. Sabling tar can reduce dif difficulty. I've never really had problems with them in the other game, to be honest. Barrel slimes. Uh, now those are a bit annoying to deal with. However, I don't think they're that much of a problem, so just leave them in. Player damage. Modifies the damage received. Uh, we'll just do the default. I think the default game's pretty, uh, I don't know, E for everyone. <laughs> pretty, pretty friendly. I'm not particularly uh, good at games, <laughs> but overall with Slime Rancher I don't really struggle other than, like, I think the way I've died the most on Slime Rancher is accidentally falling off of stuff into, like, water or, like, quicksand. <laughs> After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix LeBeau, LeBeau? I'm gonna say it wrong, was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sunset across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. You've explored the far, far range, from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat, and, and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses, all in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory, overlooking the rest of the island. 
Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. So, a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. Beatrix is so adorable. Oh, and we're in. Oh, okay, so in the oh, in the bottom right corner, oh, a little laggy. Uh, it shows the time. Also, if it I might need to lower some of the quality stuff. Yeah, because it's glitching. Oh, well, not glitching. It's lagging a little bit. Do I get a... Yeah, I gotta shoot him now. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot it into the corral. That makes sense. I was gonna shoot it into the tree. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna adjust some settings and see if that helps. Okay, I've tweaked some stuff. I feel like the game still looks kind of weird to me. It might just be how vibrant it is, honestly. It's throwing me off. Like, before it felt like there was some blurring. I feel like that's mostly better now. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I might have to adjust settings as I go. However... There's still some lag, yeah. I might have to lower settings more. <laughs> this is a gaming laptop, not a PC. <sighs> Let me tweak some more. Okay. Turn more stuff off. I think it's better. I'm sorry, I'm just we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I don't know. The game, I have to say. Freaking pretty. I love the colors. It's so vibrant. So, I'm just gonna, I guess, run around and back up stuff. these little chickadoos. I love the chickens. They're so cute. So yeah, I will not put the chickens by the slimes while they have a low wall. <laughs> that is asking for them to break out. <laughs> also, um, I don't know what it's called. Is it like the... I don't want to say this and be like super off the mark. Like the, the GUI? The, the interface? <laughs> this stuff. Like, um... The stuff that pops up, and like, these, like, the style they went for with it is different from the other game, but it's like really cutesy. I like it. Can do garden, coop, uh, silo, incinerator, pond. Okay. The usual. Start with a coop. We have chicks. Or chickadoos. Also, I'm also really bad at, about just like wandering around in these games. I will absolutely get distracted. The archway, an expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins in a field of rainbow grass. Heck yeah. Actually, let's do this. X. Oh, that opens the Slimepedia. Okay, we'll just find this stuff as we go. I hope that it's not like. I hope it looks good for like viewer wise. I feel like. It was a little disorienting for me, at least at first. I'm gonna try not to like throw the <laughs> screen around too much. I'm gonna keep it somewhat steady. Oh, she's got a little sandwich. Uh, six. Hours in the morning. That's different. Can't check mail. That is loud. Let me turn that down. Okay, that should be better. Hopefully. That's right. I need to probably sell these <laughs> so I can make more money. Z 
zoom zoom. Okay. Well, that one looks interesting. Oh, tutorial is done. Okay. I love like this little garden setup. It's so pretty. It's so cute. This, I think, might be the den. Oh! The goalie. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. Okay, so we've got a goalie, an arch. Actually, I should hang on to this carrot for the garden. I was fixing to just throw it in there without thinking. <laughs> Spring grass, spine miser. Elder collector safely and gently moves elder chickens away from the younger uh, generation, stores them in a collector. That makes me so happy. I love the little elder chickens. They're so cute. In my first playthrough of Slime Rancher, because I did like one and a half, I started Slime Rancher the first game. Um, never finished it because that's I'm bad with finishing games. Um, I played it a second time though. Uh, recently. But, uh, sorry. <laughs> the first time I played, um, I had a specific pin. I'd put all the elder chickens in. That way they could just, like, live out their life in the pin. <laughs> Ooh, boat. I feel like I'm also gonna get lost at first, like, a lot. Okay, nothing special over here. Sounds like it's bubbling. It's so pretty though. Which me just immediately fall in. If I don't have like a the uh, what's it called? Like the jetpack? I can't do the big jump. I can just do a normal jump. They're so cute! I don't need that many. <laughs> I have like what, three? I feel like you probably should just get like a bunch and then farm them or whatever, but I always try to keep them at a reasonable level <laughs> so I don't get overwhelmed. I'm gonna get so lost. Ooh. Okay, so that's for later whenever we get the uh, water add on so we can shoot tar slimes. I'm just gonna steal all these carrots. I can't even get a silo yet. There's no per <laughs> there's no point for this. <laughs> Probably just feed these guys and take their plorts. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like that's something. <gasps> New slime! Cotton slime. Oh, that's adorable. You're coming home with me. Absolutely. Although, if I just feed them, take their plorts, I can go home and uh, make these. <laughs> They're already making themselves. Stop eating stuff! I need your plorts! No! <gasps> Where's your plorts? No! <laughs> no, stop it! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, we'll just... Actually, no, I do need those. <laughs> I feel like watching me play this is gonna be stressful. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Collect some plorts. Okay. There we go. It's a little phosphor slimes. 
hello? Want a carrot? No? Okay. They're definitely about to make tar slimes with that phosphor slime, though. Log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place... I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields that felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was, because it ended much too soon. Okay, so these are gonna probably be like the little notes we can follow in the first game, where... Oh, where uh, that guy who had the ranch before us left a bunch of like notes for us to find. It's gonna be like that, but research drones. I always wish I could get like a, another little slot. Oh, is that like a, a blue one? Aren't they usually purple? Oh, I'll grab one of those later. Oh. Is there a tar slime? <gasps> it's a map. Ooh, okay. Ooh, a big section over there. Down here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is our home base. on the edge of this. Okay, and those are the little treasure things. Binary uh, links. Oh! Oh, you don't even have to place them? last game you'd have to place them uh if you wanted them outside of like the one link at the the lab uh get one i want to sell the rest <gasps> it's the tabbies i love the tabbies <laughs> so cute what the heck Try not to like rush anything, cause I feel like I need to like grab the tabbies. But we can take our time. Uh, that is a cute combination. Take our time with uh, expanding. Oh, it's a golden slime! I always forget how to grab those. <laughs> so I definitely missed one of those drones back there, cause I'm getting too sidetracked. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited, breathless and sweating. I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm gonna do it right. Okay. Cute. Oh, is that another map? Can I reach it? <laughs> Okay. Oh. Cool. 
don't even need an upgrade to open those now, I guess. I have little legs. There's so many. <laughs> okay. Up was it up here? Or... There it is, okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, the funny hen. I thought I was gonna be way quieter. I guess I'm not like... I'm still in the early stages, so I'm like... Excited by everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm trying to go home. Okay. Huh. I guess maybe this is. Maybe this is the archway. This is the gully. This might be. Um, like the, one of the caves, I guess. Get the actual name. Is that a rooster? I need one of those. I have a carrot ball. I'll take the carrots and I'll grab Togo for later. I don't know for sure if one of those chicks is gonna be um, a rooster, so I should grab one just in case. I'm going the right direct oh direction. I'm just kind of going off of vibes. Also, it needs fruit. It's a shame I just threw out all those <laughs> all that fruit. Okay, so I have to remember that that's through this pathway. Down through an arch. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna remember where it is, I don't know. I'm probably gonna forget. I'm gonna be like trying to refind it later, like I swear. <laughs> I it was right up this path. <laughs> leave a comment in the <laughs> leave a comment if you remember where the giant slime was. <laughs> this is so pretty. Help me Oh, please. Oh. Back in your cell. I need to get money so I can, uh, get them some high walls so they don't jump out. Oh. That guy. Might be a little early to help him, but it'd probably give me money. Hello? Hello? Beatrix, do you read me? Testing, testing. Hmm. Perhaps you are lost at sea, taken away by the mysterious boat, never to be... Oops, nope. Just forgot to turn the display on. Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend. And, while I'm excited for you to partake in a new adventure, I already have data that might complicate things. Last night I received a message from some sort of artificial intelligence program. It's written in code, but not what I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it. But I am certain that this message was sent from where you are now, the mysterious Rainbow Island. To recap, Mysterious Boat takes you to a mysterious island, and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite... curious. Well, I've got work to do, and you best get to exploring. Oh, almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should make the early stages of your journey easier. Oh, sick. Take care, Beatrix. We'll be in touch. Okay. Normally with that, they, uh... Like, give you stuff they they want from you. Be like, hey, I want three slimes. 260, okay. I forgot, like, when I was replaying through Slime Rancher this last time, I forgot how tedious it could be, honestly. <laughs> um... Because, like, you have to wait, you have to save up your money to get, like, the port collector and the auto feeder. Like, once you get going, you're good. Like, I forgot I need to... One second. 
once you you like get going with it and you kind of get set up like the money comes in and it gets easier and easier until you are just smooth selling until that point though <laughs> Uh, it can be kind of slow going, at least in the first game, uh, trying to pro uh, like make progress. But, yeah, I'm gonna wait to give them the plorts, I think, maybe. No. This might be a bad idea, I don't have high walls yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna break out immediately. <laughs> Need your plorts. Hand them over. Question. Sell these or make. No, I'll make more. It's a terrible idea until I get the high walls, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I like making poor decisions. Oh no, they're trying to escape! <laughs> Keeps doing it anyways. Be satiated, you beast! Okay. Not quite there. And I'm over. <laughs> it can be the plorts. Oh, I need those high walls. at them absolutely plotting trying to escape i know it uh oh i'll just release these guys i don't feel like dealing with that many at the moment uh i'm it's gonna take me a while to where to go i could shoot them off um just into the distance but i don't want anyone to judge me if i shoot them off the cliff so <laughs> i'm not gonna do that Okay. Okay. I see, I see. Just getting a feel for how much I need to save up for different upgrades. Um, I also need to get garden going. Honestly, I'm not that worried about sleeping. I am a little unbothered about the tar slimes. I probably shouldn't be, I should probably care more than I do, but... I'm just gonna put it over here. Just take them with me. Okay. I didn't really think that part through. I think it should be fine. Ooh. I've never actually placed one of those before. Like, I just never had a need, I guess. There's a gnat flying around my face, and it's awful and distracting. <laughs> oh, it eats meat. I don't have any meat. See, I've never been able to um, get anything from one of those before. Oh, there was meat right here. Oh, wait, no. Get this. I need... Your ports. Oh. You did not see that. Oh, 
this is awkward. We are a zooming. Okay. Sign. It's probably a sign for feral slimes. Yeah. Which means I, I was just over here because I was on the little beach thing, I think. Which means I'm probably going in circle. Oh, that's my house up there. Yeah, I did like a whole <laughs> did a whole loop around. Okay. I'd, I'd love to help, but uh, I don't have a water cannon yet. Oh. Okay, it looks like these just strictly give like uh, I don't know. They used to like sometimes spit out stuff like uh, jellies or honey. I guess they don't do that now. I shouldn't have given it all my carrots, but it's adorable. I couldn't resist. <gasps> Water lettuce? I've never seen that one before. It's a fetch tool favored by the bunnies. I have bunnies at home, that's perfect. I'll go home and plant that. I also just nearly pitched myself into the ocean. <laughs> I, I'm used to, in the other game, because I just completed it, uh, I'm used to having like a jetpack and stuff. Oh wait, I can just throw them into the ocean. Oh, I think about it. Okay. I completely forgot I could do that. I'm here! Where did, where did we go? Even they got cuter in this game. Yeah, take that. Wish I had remembered that before they ate all the other slimes. <laughs> oh, it's a rainbow! It's probably why it's called the Rainbow Fields. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. Go home and feed my slams. I don't have an automatic feeder like I used to.
Oh, so that stuff's the stuff you mine now. You, uh... In the last game, you couldn't... ...directly mine anything. You had to place, like, a... ...a little drill or something to do it. So I guess in this game, you have to get an attachment and do it yourself. Which, you know, I feel like that... ...might be nicer, to be honest. So the, the drills and the... ...like the... I forget what they were called. But you'd have to, uh... Um, wait like 10 minutes or something for them to um oh my gosh i just completely blanked you'd have to like place them and then wait like 10 minutes for it to process and then give you like honey or whatever um you were mining for and it was really annoying sometimes sorry i wanted to see what a, a cat uh tabby looked like it's a little cursed it's not cursed, it's cute, but... <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I should probably head back with the plort so I can sell them. Oh, there's something up there. Immediately gets distracted again. Might need, need a jetpack for that. There's a chicken right there. It's a hen hen. Perfectly good hen hen. You know, I was trying to head back to the house, but uh terrible sense of direction. those cube strawberries. <gasps> it is! I love these. They look different. They look more glassy in this game. Very cool. Of course I'm going deeper. I have an awful sense of direction. Oh well, we're exploring. So pretty. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh, it puts it on the map for you. I guess that's once you've fed it something, because this one showed up, but the uh, phosphor one hasn't. I'm assuming that's because I didn't feed it anything. Which means when I run past it, I'm going to try to remember to give it a Q-berry. See, I don't have any chicken. Or I have no hen hens. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't... I can't feed you. Q-berry. Put it on the map. Heck yeah. That is such a neat little feature. I'm glad they added that. Sometimes you find um, one of those Gordos and you don't have the food you need for it. And you're just like, well, hope I can remember where this is. Sorry. I need one of these for the garden. So good. I forgot to be grateful for them. Oh, I'm full. Cool. Heck yeah. My little money makers. Okay, this is the Slimepedia thing. You know, I haven't gone down here yet. Sorry if I, like, got all- <laughs> Like, at the start of the game, I looked straight down, and I was like, I'll go down there after the tutorial. And then I just wandered off. <laughs> okay. Resource harvester. Adds a resonator to the back suction mechanism that shakes loose science resources from nodes in the environment. Okay. That increases my health. That increases stamina. Makes uh energy like running like take less energy. Jetpack. Ooh. Tank booster. Ah, let's see hold more. Oh, does that give you another uh slot? That's pretty cool. Water tank. Binary. Angler plorts. I'm so excited for the angler slime. That's right, I was gonna throw these in here. This place is big. <laughs> okay. We'll start by. This is the stairs. Going right. Oh. Cute. Cliff. Perfect. <laughs> Another cliff, but I always wanted. Thank you. <laughs> oh, damn, it's gonna be real crazy if it's the cliff. <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> no, this one has a path. <laughs> um, okay. A lot of exit points. You know, this is great for like fire safety, I feel like. Oh, look at that. 
I think it's funny how in this game, uh, Beatrix just wiggles her hand around all the time. Oh, it looks like oil, like on water, kind of, but it's also very, very clearly a rainbow. Very cute. Oh, that looks like uh, an explosion just fell. <laughs> have I been over there? I feel like I have. Nah, I haven't been that far, I don't think. Okay, now I have to get back up to my house. <laughs> Now the real question is, what am I spending my money on first? I'm thinking garden. So I can have a more consistent uh, food source. Uh, I like lettuce. Perfect. Now because um, I love myself, we're gonna see how much a pork collector is. Worth it. Listen, man, I don't have any food on me, I'm sorry. Uh, time to go get more food, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe it's already almost been like an hour of me recording. Admittedly, a lot of that was like set up and stuff, but still. I'm realizing on the little gun there's like the symbol of the carrots. And if I change it, that's a cute little detail. Thing, some carrots, the bunny gordo. <laughs> Making sure there weren't any more phosphor uh, limes on the ground. Wait, I'm full on those. <laughs> Jar? I thought it was one of the toys. That didn't happen. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm not, but I should. Crap. <laughs> I told you, I just fall off of things. I don't die to anything else. It's always my own fault. <laughs> Mochi. Well, what do you know? Beatrix Le LeBeau. Off on another adventure. I didn't think to take her good pal, sometimes rival, and forever mentor, Mochi Miles. Seriously. Be. Next time you go, uh, <laughs> next time you go running off to dangerous, uncharted territory, you at least give me a heads up. I'd like to be there for you in case you need me to help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over the island. What? You think I wasn't gonna do a little recon of my own? What good surveillance satellites? If what good are surveillance satellites are? 
going to have an aneurysm. What good are surveillance satellites if they can't snoop on stuff? Wink. Anyway, be careful out there. The island gives me a kind of weird vibe, so I'm going to keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting from scratch out there, take this refinery link. Should make things easier for you. I'll just put it on your tab. Later, Tater. Heck yeah. They're screaming. Okay. Uh, the garden probably has nothing in it since I haven't upgraded it at all. <gasps> no, we're here in luck. Passing out was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. <laughs> Definitely. Stop screaming, I'm sorry. I'm a bad mother, I know. Okay. Uh, how much is it to? Probably want that one first. Uh, to like grow faster. Ah, oh, yes. He's so rich. judge me for how I spend my money, because yeah, I'm I'm probably not getting things in the most um ideal order. Oh my gosh, I already have elders? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay. Um I don't need to worry about any of that right now. I do want to get a second uh garden going. Probably going to. Oh wait, I still have more plorts to sell. <laughs> Let's sell these um, and get another corral, maybe if I have them, so I can get. Um, hmm, I could probably do grab some tabbies or phosphor slimes. The only thing with phos with phosphor slimes is I might need to get the. Um, the little upgrade on the corral where it's like solar shield might need to do that yeah um i might need to do the yeah if i'm gonna do the phosphor slime um so i'm thinking grab some tabbies um save up, get the shield, combine them with the phosphor. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. <laughs> Which, since we are coming on an hour, I'm gonna say that's probably a good stopping place for today, actually. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna play some more. But, uh, that, that'll be part one. The first look introduction to Slime Rancher 2. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was probably a little disorienting. Um, considering I'm a little disoriented, trying to get a feel for, like, the layout of the land, and I'm not used to, like, not having a jetpack. <laughs> or, like, bigger inventory and everything since I just came from like being fully upgraded in the first game. Uh, hopefully it was still enjoyable though. Um, definitely gonna do some more parts. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full series. I'm debating that. Um, for sure gonna do a few more videos at least. But yeah, um, I should pause this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave off there today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please uh, remember to like and subscribe so you can see more of these videos in the future. 
uh, and it helps me out a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!